In a gaseous system, particles are constantly randomly moving in all directions. As a result, the particles are constantly colliding and hitting each other. Just like with any two objects hitting each other, particles exchange energy when they collide. This energy comes from the speed with which the particles are moving. The faster two particles are travelling when they collide, the more energy that there is involved in the collision between them. For certain particles, if they collide together with enough energy, a chemical reaction can occur and new products can form. The amount of energy needed for this to happen is called activation energy and is different depending on the particles colliding, meaning different particles have to collide with different amounts of energy in order to react together. As a result, different reactions have different activation energies. Activation energy can be defined as the minimum amount of energy that colliding particles must have in order to react and is measured in kilojoules per mole. Sometimes particles also need to hit each other in a very specific way in order to react. This is described as colliding with the correct orientation. This is a slightly more advanced idea, however, and is covered in a separate video and on chemistrystudent.com. Check the links in the description below. Most of the time particles collide, nothing happens, as they simply don't collide with enough energy to reach the activation energy required. These collisions are referred to as unsuccessful or ineffective collisions. If, however, two particles do collide with the required activation energy and a reaction does occur, the collision is described as being successful or effective.